Hey, good morning everybody and welcome back to Travel Blocks. This is such an exciting day, I can't believe it. We are going to meet a guy on the Hong Kong black market. Like this underground thing, it's this app you can download where you can meet people to buy things. And we are gonna go get one of the most elusive, new and largest most expensive Halo Mega Block sets of all time, the Vulture. This thing has eluded me for many, many years, and we found it for an incredible price, less than a hundred US dollars. This is so exciting. So we are gonna board the ferry out of Discovery Bay onto Hong Kong Island, and then we're going to cross onto Kowloon, the mainland of Hong Kong. And we're about to delve into like the craziest, most bustling part of Hong Kong. Let's check it out. So we always have to take a ferry from our house every time we want to go to Hong Kong Island. It's just a strange life I lead right now that like anytime I'm traveling on the way to work, even between classes at work, I'm always editing, I'm always exporting a video, always working on the next domain project. It's a very strange existence right now, but we're having a good time. So to get to our destination today, we took our first ferry. Now we're taking the MTR, like the underground. That's gonna go from Hong Kong Island right to Kowloon, which is like the old town of Hong Kong. And this right here is the sheer efficiency of Hong Kong. You can take a train from Hong Kong Island that goes right to the airport, right to your gate, and you can even check in your luggage on Hong Kong Island and you won't see it again until you arrive at your final destination. Hong Kong is just full of Total efficiency. We're heading to Prince Edward Station today, which holds a very special place in our heart. It's actually the first place that we lived in Hong Kong. When we first arrived two years ago, it was where our apartment was, right on the main road. So it's really great to be going back. Now you've heard me use the term Hong Kong Black Market before. This app I'm using is very similar to Facebook Marketplace. The main difference is every time you want to buy something, you meet in the underground at one of these MTR stops. So it's kind of like an underground trading system, cash for goods. I've always been a huge fan of it. So uh, let's go meet our client or our seller. Let's go meet our guy. All right, we know we're looking for someone with an IKEA bag. It's pretty exciting when the, uh, when the deal's about to go down. Vulture gunship with a free Halo 5 rig pack. Wow. It looks absolutely mint condition. Wow. So stay tuned for a live stream where I build the whole thing in one go. All 1031 pieces. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is absolutely excellent. The total cost of that was about 70 pounds, which is about 80 US dollars. This is once built going straight to Bam Bam Productions. You're welcome. And now I think we're gonna go get some breakfast and I'll show you guys the rest of Kowloon. high in Hong Kong it's pretty pretty crazy walking through those big crowds especially in like 32 degrees Celsius heat but we've got some appetizers now this is all classic Hong Kong food it may not look that nice but it is actually deceiving it's it's pretty exceptional so we've got first of all glutinous rice rolls now this is like liquid rice that they sort of roll up into these big uh, big sort of 
car pits. They got like sweet soy sauce and sesame dressing. And then we've got siomai, which is shrimp ground together into like this bowl. They're pretty awesome. Take a long time to chew. Very basic name, fish bowls. Bowls of fish. All this food and a can of Coke for only about three US dollars. Pretty awesome. Day two of our adventures in Old Town Hong Kong. I didn't actually show you the hotel last night because it was so bad that we've asked for a refund already. Here's a couple of images on the screen. I don't really need to show you anymore. It was nightmarish. The door didn't even lock on the room. So ignore that, moving on. We're at Temple Street right now, which is, I would say, the beating heart of Hong Kong. It's like as old as the old town gets. It's filled with tiny little markets, cute little shops, and a lot of knockoff toys. So let's go explore it for a little while. Come check it out. You can see these rows of scaffolding everywhere. Literally every night it's a full construction project that goes on. They build these night stalls all down these streets and sell tons of more or less junk. I mean loads of counterfeit Legos. You can buy pretty much any Lego set ever including like Death Stars for about 5% of the original price. They're called like Lepin or Let's Go, like just fake Lego. Yeah, this thing comes alive at night. It's absolutely wild. I will have to show you guys on a separate day what it looks like at night, but there are still plenty of markets on the other side of Jordan that are still bustling throughout the day. This is one of said markets, just filled to the brim with cheap things. Now, Hong Kong, it's actually kind of a sleepy city in the morning. Everybody has such a strong work ethic here that they're all working at the crack of dawn. So really the streets are quite empty until like midday when everyone comes out for lunch. So we got the place to ourselves, more or less. If you come here in the evening, you can barely move. You're like a packed in sardine. It's difficult to really grasp from the video you're watching the sheer immense scale and size of Hong Kong, or specifically the old town of Hong Kong, Kowloon. This is the Guinness World Record for the most densely populated place on earth, and really there's no camera shot that can get it all into scale. This place is so immeasurably massive in terms of culture and diversity. Everywhere you go, every street is completely different from the last, and really, we're getting emotional at this point because we've lived in Hong Kong for two years now and we'll be saying goodbye to it in about four months time but really the memories we've made here are just exceptional. I really want to try and show you guys over the next few months more and more of Hong Kong. Just sharing the culture around me I think is really worthwhile. Yeah, this has been another episode of Travel Blocks. Hope you all enjoyed yourself and I'll see you next time. Have a great one. Domain is signing off.